Hello everyone, welcome to Train Sim World 3. We're here with the Amtrak Acela. Absolutely beautiful as a person falls through the ceiling right there. <laughs> um, this is very exciting. This is also the first video on the channel that we've done of Boston to Providence. Should have said that the other way around because we're currently in Providence. But I digress. I'm going to start off by getting some safety systems on. Which, I'm not going to lie, juggling all these safety systems on this train is a struggle, but it's part of the fun. So we have an F-40 pulling into the station here. Um, so yeah, this is actually my third time attempting to film this video. The first time was total screw up, but the second time I had an issue with um, the safety systems. So hopefully that will not happen again. I'm going to be a little bit... Uh, more cautious as we get into stuff here. My favorite thing about this train is the cruise control. It's so nice because if it wasn't for that, dealing with all the safety systems and stuff would be much more of a pain. So I'm going to set that to, uh, I believe, 30. Right now we're going to take the automatic brake off. The lights and everything should already be on, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that. Set the throttle to about 50, and we're going to hop out right here and try and get a nice shot. We're going to do the horn. So apparently we have some rail fans here. It's just that random stuff they add into the scenarios. They did a great job modeling this train. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. Uh, another positive is most of the buttons are operable in the cab here. If I wanted to set the temperature to 65, I could do that. What month is it? It's May. Okay, so yeah, 65. That's reasonable. So we can go up to 60 now. I'm going to try and showcase the tilting here because I haven't gotten a good look at that myself. It's really cool. You can also turn that off. Uh, not actually sure where that is. Parking brake. Where is it? Tilting. There it is. So you can disable it or enable it. For whatever reason, some sections of the Northeast Corridor don't allow tilting. I don't know why. Uh... But yeah, so that, that's a cool feature. I'm really glad they added that in. I think this is where I got tripped up. Uh, it said 70, so I went to 70. But it goes back down to 60 for whatever reason. So we're just going to keep it at 60 right now. I'm not sure if that's some sort of a glitch or what. So we're just going to stay here for... Just a second, and then before you know it, we're going to be going 150. So, looking forward to that. It's kind of unfortunate it's uh, gray. I kind of wanted to showcase the new lighting a little bit, but for whatever reason, they decided to, to do a gray scenario. I had an issue with the cab light on Trenton with this thing. So basically, I hit L to turn it on uh, in Penn Station because, you know, it's so dark down there. And then L doesn't work to turn it back off. But I went over here to the um, actual switch and it would not turn off. So it seems to work here, though, which is good because that was that was very strange. But, you know, L is supposed to work in the first place, so. So it looks like we're not having that same speed decrease that I was having the first time around. Uh, I'm not sure what that was all about. But I just kind of want to play it safe for just a second. As you can see, the safety systems, they're alerter, alerter. They're jumping all over me right now. So I'm just trying to avoid 
as much conflict as possible. Let's open the window here for a second. Oh no, it's a blind. Is it blind? That's actually kind of cool. So yeah, I mean it makes it much much louder. Uh, the blowers on this train are extremely loud. That's really cool, actually. It's a nice touch. Yeah, so we're going up to 125, just a couple thousand feet. Let's see if we can get it some tilt on there. Not really. I'm going to try and get a better shot than that. Let's see. I think, yeah, we got a big curve coming up here. So. I'm going to stay at 60 because there's really no point. There you go. Panagraph is also up, which is just a notable thing to say. Uh, it shouldn't have to be a notable thing to say, but with the current situation in Trenton, it must be said. If we see some more Sellas, uh, I have the beautiful Avalia, Av oh my gosh, I can't even say it, Avala Liberty, probably pronouncing that terribly wrong, um, but it's, it's the livery of the Avala on the Acela. It actually looks fantastic, so I'm hoping we'll see one of them on the tracks here. Uh, we will at some point. Definitely. I can almost guarantee that. So hopefully we'll see that livery in particular. Uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. So the Liberties are going to be taking. There's a uh, ACS-64 passing by. The Liberties are going to be taking over for the Sellas in just a few years here. They're a little bit... Uh, a little bit odd looking, I'm not going to lie. This is the start. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. A little mix up there. All right, so as we get up to speed, I'm going to try and get out here and take a look at some things. So, we got some nice vents, some nice fans, some nice touch. We have the uh, message board there. They did such a great job. All right, we're gonna we're gonna bring it down to 110 here because it does take a second for that to all come into place. The cafe car. Um, there's a lot of to uh, time at the stations typically, so you should be able to check out some of the inside of the train as well. They did a nice job with the joints here. We tilting. Let's see if we can get a shot. Yeah. Very nice. Sounds. The the sounds are not as good as um some people say they are, in my opinion. I've never seen one of these things in real life, but it's just, there's the cafe car from the outside there. They, they do sound a little bit 
artificial for sure, especially the horn. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's just my opinion anyway. I could be wrong. They did a really nice job on the lights. Marker lights and the uh, cab lights here. They all look very, very nice. Yeah, so it's a straight shot just to Boston South Station. No stops at Back Bay or anything like that. So, Like I said, it'll go by very quick, though, because the speed we're going at. Signal the station. So I'm trying to follow as qu as closely as possible uh, the news about Trenton in particular to see kind of what plans Dovetail has to improve it or if any plans they have to improve it. I know it's only been out for, what, two days now, but there's going to be apparently a initial patch coming very soon. And then another one coming a little later. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, and at some point, I really, really would be very excited um, to see them get around to working on the timetable. Hopefully sooner than later. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to hope on that too much because I, I know I know the company we're dealing with and unfortunately they just like to rush out things instead of going back and fixing the things that that need to be fixed so I'm hoping and praying that they, that they go around and adjust some things on the timetable and I was playing it last night and I noticed a couple frame issues um, Boston Boston to Providence here seems to be much much smoother than the experience I was having last night and I do not have a weak computer by any means I play I don't play on ultra settings I play on high um, so it was just kind of disturbing to see that another ACS 64 here So I really hope they can fix that route because it's just currently I'm very disappointed about that. But we're going to have a lot of videos on that coming up as well. I'm going to do some more coverage. Check out the cab car. Check out the ALP46 a little more in depth run the cella on there at some point I'm sure I have so many ideas for videos it's actually it's actually kind of crazy but I'm really looking forward to all of them I'm gonna be checking out I'm gonna be checking out uh, some routes some older routes as well as some newer routes and I'm just really excited for the future here all right, so we are slowing down. Uh, gonna have to put the brakes into suppression. Take the throttle off. And hopefully this isn't gonna call me out. Take the brakes off, there we go, okay. Luckily that worked out fine. All right, this needs to be on 125. There we go. So yeah, I don't know if I said it, but um, it's kind of tough to juggle all the safety systems at once and try and carry on a conversation at the same time. So that's definitely going to interrupt me quite a bit <laughs> here uh, when dealing with that. But it's 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 doable. I'd I'd say that it's doable.
at some point, I'm sure we'll get some uh, commuter rail content with the MBTA uh, up here on the channel too. Right, going back up to 130, as well as some uh, ACS 64 stuff as well. It's better be called the ACS 64. I get that mixed up in my head. That sounds right. ACS 64. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. Oh, the sun's coming out. A lure is insane. All right, let's try and get some screenshots here for the thumbnail. I should be able to get some good ones in uh, Boston Station because that's pretty active. So I'll probably have a better chance of getting a nice one there. I feel like they marketed the dynamic weather as like a much bigger deal than it is when this game uh, released Transom World 3 back in September. And I mean, it's it's good to see it, but like, it's not, it should have been here in the first place. But it's certainly not like life changing or anything. Sometimes it's actually annoying when you select a timetable. It's like going the sunset or something, and then it gets all cloudy and it starts raining. But you can always turn it off if you want. I just feel like they they kind of focused on the little things instead of the big things that really mattered and it's good to focus on the little things but you gotta tackle the big things first you know what do I know though I'm just a just a beta tester <laughs> feels like that sometimes doesn't it certainly feels like that on Trenton right now I'll say that let's bring it down to 125 ACS 64 once again, it's the only thing we've seen so far, which is interesting. No Acellas, no MBTA. I mean, we saw the MBTA when we were pulling out of the station. Um, I don't know the Providence side of the route nearly as well as the Boston side. And we're kind of in the middle now. Actually, no, we're more towards the Boston area. But maybe I just don't know the route well at all. All right. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's it's a great route. It's one of my personal favorites. I should do, like, a ranking video of my favorite routes. I also want to hop back on Southeastern High Speed. It's been a while. For sure. There's finally an F40 going by there. Absolutely went by that thing. Holy cow. So where are we? We are here. Uh, oh, look at that. That came out of nowhere. I don't think that was ever um, on the hut there that that was coming up might have some traffic because we got a yellow here that's probably what's going on we're good we're good oh my So yeah, we definitely have some traffic up here. That's why uh, we got a yellow. And I'm hoping I'm not going to have an issue. Because this is kind of what happened last time. There was a big decrease. 
and the uh, throttle. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. The throttle just didn't want to be able to come back on. Let's, hear, let's do a bypass of the horn. It just, it just sounds, in my opinion anyway, really artificial. And they did say they were looking into, um, how are we speeding? They did say they were looking into improving some of the Sala sounds. So, I mean, that's good to see. And that, but yet again, like, that's kind of a, a little thing, right? I know it's a totally separate DLC from Trenton, but that's a little thing. And there's an extremely large hole right now in some DLCs. And the sounds on this, honestly, for the most part, are pretty good. But... Of course, they could use some improvement, but there's other things they need to look at first. That's just the point I'm trying to get across here. They were also really giving uh, LIRR fans a smack in the face because people were complaining that the uh, LIRR wasn't going to be in Penn Station, and they're like... Oh, if you want to see LIRR, you can buy the route. Like, <laughs> come on, man. That's that's such a dovetail thing to do. But And they also put it on sale, actually. So, I mean, at, le at least that's the least they could do, really. It was half off, so what is it, 30? So it was probably 15. I think it, I believe it was 15. It might still be on sale. Um, but, yeah. That route is also, honestly, pretty disappointing as well. It's got the same problem. It's like a ghost town. I think the timetable on this route's pretty good. Okay, so we're switching track. That's what that was all about. I think the timetable on this route is pretty good. I, I'm not going to say that with confidence because I could, I could be wrong, but... It feels pretty busy. I don't know how like real or truth, how truthfully that is to what it's supposed to be like in real life. Um, but it does seem pretty busy, much busier than Trenton. Nine miles away from Boston South Station now. So that's gonna come really quick. Should be going back up to 120, hopefully. It's kind of ironic, actually. The scenario was supposed to be about having clear signals all the way. And we just had a huge uh, drop off there. All right, so we are going back up to 120. Not one person at the station. Interesting. Bell sounds pretty good, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem. Another ACS-64. Ton of those today. I really like the cab in here. It's You got the huge windows. Nice. Pretty well detailed, too. Looks pretty worn out. Oh, so they acknowledge is a pedal on the floor. So that that would be for their loader, if I had to guess, just because like that seems more convenient. Interesting. Let's try and get some more screen. Okay, I did not want to do that. Let's try and get some more screenshots. Let's 
get to the front. Oh, going around a curve, that would be nice. It's a curve. Alright. Wasn't much of a curve, I guess. Let's see if any of those make it. Okay, we got another one here. Let's try it again. so cool to see the tilt. It's awesome. Oh, it looks so cool in the dark. Those red buttons. Another empty station. It is... Uh, what is it? 12. It's, it is 2 p.m. though, so. I mean, I guess that's not the busiest time. That's before rush hour. Kind of in the middle of the day, but. It's just kind of weird to see a bunch of completely empty platforms. Alright, so in two miles, we're going down to 60. So, definitely got to keep an eye on that pretty soon. We're going to, yeah, just do it now because I know it takes a while to get down there. Hopefully that, that should give us enough time. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, maybe not. Dynamic brakes are a bit slow. I'm going to put it into suppression just so we don't have to deal with the consequences of the safety systems. Alright, we're going even lower, apparently. Going down to 45. Alright, there we go. Are we really that close? This is Back Bay, I guess, in here. It feels more than 8,000 feet away. Interesting. Yeah, so things get pretty slow here. Uh, we might have to stop at the East Cloves interlocking. Are we going to 30 already? What are we doing? Don't. Okay. So yeah, then we go down to 15 up here in a second. Turn the bell on. Love this station. It's, it's like half outside, half inside. It's very nice. See if we can get a sh Let's see if we can get a shot here. Alright, turn the bell off. Uh we still got a little bit before we have to go down to fifteen. This right here is probably my favorite part of the route. Got the city in the background. Got the highway next to you. Awesome. So 
switch and track here. All right, we're going to go down to 15 now. There we go. All right. Let me know what types of videos you guys want to see. Just like shout out a a game. Could be a totally different game. Uh, why are we slowing down? Oh yeah, we are going to 10. Okay. My bad. Um, it could be a totally different game. Could be some DLC. Anything you guys want to see, let me know. If you want to see more like review style videos like the last one, uh, it wasn't really a review, it was an initial thought. I just wanted to make sure I didn't title it review because honestly I don't really feel qualified to give a review at the moment at least and I did not have enough time on that game to do a full on review. That's why it was just called initial thoughts because I only played it for like an hour at the time. Uh, now I've probably played it for like three hours. Something like that. Oh my gosh, I can't get a good shot because of all these poles. Yeah, it's so hard. All right, let's get the bell on. Another ACS 64. Those things run this place. I don't remember it being like that before. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's because of the time of day or, or something like that, but... There's a uh, F40 over there. But that's it. Just got three trains. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see the uh, Avela Liberty livery. I'll tr I'll try and continue on foot for just a second because I, I do want to try and get some of that stuff in there, and I want to kind of just check out the interior of the train as well. All right, now this is safe season. Probably gonna start freaking out here in just a second. We're going to come to a stop. There we go. Look at that. Open the doors. That's a good shot. I like that. Actually, people here, which is nice to see. And, okay, we have time now. So we're going to exit. Oh, it's so quiet in here without the blowers on. Oh, my God. Shut that, just so. Don't want anyone breaking in, do we? You can't access the cars from the train. You have to walk out. As you can see, it's blocked off there. It's not actually connected. So they are quite a bit different than the Amfleet cars. I think this is the first class cabin. Could be wrong. They added some uh, wrinkling on the seats, which looks pretty good. This is this must be economy. They have the nice little uh, message board up there. Thank you for choosing Amtrak. Pretty sure that's all it ever says. Which is kind of frustrating. Um, I I could be wrong with that. No, it does say it does say Boston South Station. All right, all right. Sorry about that. It kicked me out there. Um, fortunately, I don't see 
the livery in question. Uh, okay, wait. There we go. We are going to hop back aboard this and take a look. Hopefully this doesn't start leaving on us. That would not really be good. Door, Doors open, typically. I don't know why that one wasn't. There we go. This is different. What is this? It's like, why is it so dark? Cab car, or sorry, cafe car. I believe this is where we left off. Uh, yeah, why, why are these ones not lit up? Huh. That's strange. So yeah, there's the uh, eco business. Actually, no, there's no economy. It's just called business class. Business class, first class, and, and then the uh, quiet car says it as well as the cafe. I almost forgot cafe Acela. Where's the quiet car? There it is. Quiet car. All right, I'm going to just browse around really quickly and see if I can find the Vela. So sadly, I did not find uh, the Vela Liberty livery. Uh, that's really unfortunate, but hopefully next time we take the Sala out, uh, we'll be able to see one passing by. So thank you all very much for watching today's episode. Hope you all do have a fantastic day, and if you pick up this DLC, I hope you enjoy it. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day.